What's it gonna give me? Transmog. You might as well just spit on me at that point. Yo, what's going on guys? Flurbother here and welcome back to another Minecraft video here on the PvPWars.net server. A couple of days ago, Faction Nova officially released and they were hyping it up on their Discord. Talking about the YouTubers that are obviously going to be on it. It looks like it's actually popping right now with 165 players we're gonna be checking it out and see what's changed if you guys enjoy this and want to see me actually do a small little series here go ahead leave a like on this video of course subscribe for more we're gonna hop right into it i believe last time i chose atlas for the speed 2 with five percent sword damage what was the other one i liked i like this one haste 2 with uh in, with less incoming damage but i think i'm gonna go with this one again because i like that speed is so good obviously starting off we get some starter gear which is pretty nice gear i mean it's just diamond but it's definitely something if i'm not mistaken do we have pv access we do Ooh, it looks like they changed the spawn improved grinding behavior added quest scrolls improved canyons 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 better sponge mechanics added cough and envoy summons improved combats plugin not sure what that means added rune blender tinkerer oh okay so like a tinker for your runes that's kind of cool new spawn warzone and outpost added demon and shoey masks i don't know what that means vaulted rot and decay for now so they actually vaulted some i guess runes or enchants new outpost system and more Ooh, interesting you have successfully completed your mission of testing the oh earlier i was like oh we're testing something before getting sent to our main area that was beta oh that's actually so cool the ability on the planet nova and have been sent to the main world it is now open to visitors be warned or but be warned as current inhabitants have formed factions competing for control of this newly formed planet do you dare or do you dare you join them okay a bit of a bit of typos there i really like what they're doing with the story though now starting off i have no idea what i'm doing do i have any kits or anything is the question let's see rank kits uh, I do not. Shrek! You're the rune blender, my guy! Death. That is death right there. I guess that's F. Create. Uh. Flurp fam. Pog. So, I mean, I guess starting off is gonna be a little bit rough. I mean, it's fine, because you guys will have to start off this way, so it's, it's fair. Uh, do we RTP slash wild? It is slash wild for $100. Oh, wait, aren't there crates? Wait, hold on. Well, I could vote and get some crates, but I'm too lazy right now, so we're gonna slash wild. I like that it spends the 100 after you teleport, after the little cooldown. And teleport! Please don't put me somewhere bad. A village. Ooh, is there anything interesting in this village? Let's find out. It looks like the village was picked clean already because a lot of the crops are gone. That is unfortunate. I don't know what's good starting out. Can you sell cactus? You can for four dollars. Let's grab all of the cactus. I'm gonna start a miniature cactus farm and it's gonna be beautiful, guys. I'm gonna build such a nice house. Hopefully, nobody cannons me because that would be sad. Oh, I forgot that the enchant or the tools have different like enchant slots per piece, which is a really cool little mechanic to help balance. Which I think will make it so, like, I think there will still be enchants that are more viable than others. You could potentially have some that counteract others. So it'll lead to different builds for different weapons, which will actually spice things up, I think. I don't know what I'm going to do to start off, I'll be honest with you. I just wanted to kind of check it out um, and just, you know, start a little bit uh, because yeah, it could be fun. I don't know, but I I'll be honest with you, I I'm a little bit spoiled in the way that if I don't have, like, really benefits, it's just not fun to me. Uh, it's a little confusing, I guess, to me. Just starting off, it just feels like vanilla Minecraft, which isn't bad. There is a mob coin shop then, right? There is. You can get the pet egg heroic, the smite one, right-click to smite and charge creepers. Ooh, that's useful. Uh, rename scroll, white scroll, slot crystal. I'm guessing that adds slots to your tools, so maybe that's not... Maybe I was wrong about that. Cell wand, not bad. Uh, rune pouches, heroic, and nova. Different tags as well as ranks over here. You can get your own ranks, guys, by just casually doing things. Verified. Pog. You can see the different amounts that you get, or percentage chance you get from different things. It's kind of cool. I haven't done a lot of factions, so please, like, forgive me if I speak out of, uh, 
what's what's a no how do i put that if i say something that just is dumb basically um because i don't know entirely what i'm talking about but i don't think i've seen a server or at least a faction server utilize mob coins to my knowledge maybe i'm wrong about that i probably am i haven't been on a whole lot i've definitely been on some in in, in the past but i don't know I, factions isn't my favorite thing to do just because of how toxic it can be and how like dedicated you have to be to it obviously i tend to do a lot of skyblock as you guys know from the channel but i like to check out things like this every now and then because they kind of pique my interest i don't know something about factions nova just sounds awesome i mean the story sounds awesome i like what they're doing with the runes that's super cool as well it's like a, its own custom enchant type deal the slots are pretty cool it adds a little bit to it there's a lot of cool things that i've seen already and this is just from beta and now i might go to the nether i wonder what kind of warps there are i can't remember so i can do slash warps there's outpost crates nether and desert warp uh and then there's the normal world I kind of want to see what these warps look like, so let's go and warp here and just check it out, I guess. I think it's just like a super flat world, kind of like how some people did the end, where you can set up your base here, or you can set it up in the overworld, or the nether, I think, if I'm not mistaken. However, if I'm not mistaken as well, water won't work unless they have the custom plugin for that. What kind of spawners do they hit? Hold on. Pig, cow, cave spider, spider, zombie, skeleton, blaze, creeper, enderman, iron golem, zombie, pigman, witch. I feel like cave spider would just be better unless you're going for value but like the mob drops would be the same you get the same item it would just you know unless it, unless one of them has a custom drops i don't care about dying so i'm just gonna run around i'm just gonna mess with things right so it looks like the nether is pretty normal i kind of want to just go back to spawn maybe i'll open them crates i think i'll open them crates for the rest of this video this is kind of a smaller video because i don't know I'm, i don't know how to start off on factions at all all right i went ahead and voted on all three servers and got it looks like three normal keys but it did say i also got a, a golden key just voted three times and got a golden key but i didn't uh, you know i don't really i don't know so i'll take it though i mean technically i did vote three times just now but the first vote it said i voted three times gave me a gold key which is a bit weird so i have one golden key and three normal keys that's oh, always it's loud for me let's go and open up the normal key and see what we get all oh, chunk blaster please let's lay on her i mean that's pretty cool that's not bad i'll store everything after chunk blaster chunk blaster chunk blaster Golden. it now i'll take it i could sell i could get something better i got two in beta and never tested them i wanted to see what that was like common rune pouches a pog i can save those or open them. i'll open them after this actually if i'm not mistaken it gives multiple per pouch what's it gonna give me transmog you might as well just spit on me at that point please give me something good i can't handle more disappointment x Experience? What am I going to do with that? Let's go ahead and open all of these. It looks like no. Oh, no, they do give multiple. So if we do slash enchants, we can see the custom enchants by rarity. If we check the common enchants, I actually, first of all, I want to I wanna, I wanna applaud them on this. I really like the option of doing by material. You can check what each enchant is as well. I'm assuming it's ordered... No, it's ordered alphabetically, and then the color of it is the rarity. Bring out your inner Atlantean and live underwater. So that gives us water breathing, essentially. <clears throat> Obliterate. Oh, it even says here. What are we doing? We can just read these. So if we go ahead and look in our inventory. Chance to give extreme knockback to your enemies. That's an axe enchant. Aquatic, we know. Bat vision. Become a bat and see in the dark. So night vision, basically. Uh, auto smell. Ores. Uh, automatically smelted when mine. I kind of want to try that on my pickaxe and see if it works. Pitchfork. Push back enemies with a chance to give weakness and blindness. I'm going to throw that on my helmet just because. Even though I I have my gamma boosted. Insomnia 4. Chance to give slowness. Slow swinging and confusion during combat. So it gives slowness, nausea, and mining fatigue it sounds like which is kind of cool that is a sword enchant let's throw it on my sword just for fun place either an enchant rune or a black scroll to blend it does it have to be like the same one so if i get the black bat vision bat vision okay so this just combines them i thought it was a tinker system but i can go ahead and take my bat vision and you see it succeeds it does have a chance to destroy which is uh, a little scary it could oh well that one failed and that takes up a slot which sucks please don't fail nice auto smell i want to actually test that out so let's go to the wild 
I said, let's go to the wild. Wait, hold on. More important things, actually. We can buy enchant pouches with experience. Nice. Is there a command to see? Yes, you can see your exact experience. So I have enough for an uncommon. Let's go ahead and buy that. And from that, I got explosion, explosive immunity. Where it gains immunity to explosions with a chance to regain health. Nice. Demon Forge increases durability loss on your... Wait, increases durability loss on your enemy's uh, armor. <laughs> nice, dude. And I got Hellforge. Weapons repair themselves when in combat. Nice. Those are pretty cool. Those are some sick enchants. Those bosses. I forgot that was a thing. Experience shop. Wait. Alchemist armor set. Phantom armor set. Goblin armor set. Magma armor set. Ranger armor set. Mystery armor set. <gasps> what? Tactic items. Aggressive pearl. Exotic bone. Portable bar. What are these items? Oh my god. There's so many cool things in that. I'm gonna go ahead and slash wild again. That is a lot of stuff I want to check out. But I actually need to grind to check it out. Which sucks. So I want to see. If I mine this, I get just an iron ingot from it. Dude, that is so sick. I think I'm pretty solid on this video. Unless in the future, I join up with a faction that will pretty much help me make content. Mostly I want to make content on the bosses, on some of those custom items, but I need experience for that. And I don't know, which, whatever else I feel like making content on. If you guys do want more, obviously you got to leave a like on this video. It's just required, right? It's just how it works. Uh, subscribe, of course, as well for more videos. I think that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoy all that stuff that I already said, like leaving a like and subscribing. So professional. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.